In today's lesson, we will be learning about naturals. Hello, my name's Harriet and welcome back to Piano Virtus. In previous episodes, we have learned about sharps and flats. Now let's take a look at the third sign in the group of accidentals called naturals. This is what a natural looks like. When you see a natural sign in front of a note on the music, it tells us to cancel out the sharp or flat note back to its normal note name. Let me give you an example. In this bar we have a middle C as a half note with a sharp sign by it telling the player to play the note as C sharp. Next to this note we see another half note middle C which by music score rules would mean the note would also need to be played as a C sharp. It would not need a sharp sign by it like this. The player would simply play it as another C sharp because it's written in the same bar. Now, what would happen if the writer of the music didn't want the second note in the bar to be a C sharp? That's when the natural sign would be used. If we put a flat sign in front of the middle E note, we play the nearest note to the left or we can say it lowers the note by a semitone, which in this case, the sign lowers the E note to become an E flat. As previously with the C sharp note, if the writer of the music didn't want the second note to be an E flat, then a natural sign would be used, so the player would just play a normal E note. Now follow along with me, reading the music as I play a short song using accidentals. So let's have a quick recap. What are accidentals? Accidentals are musical symbols that are placed by the side of a note written on the staff. The sharp sign raises a note to the right by a semitone. And a flat sign lowers a note to the left by a semitone. The natural sign that we've introduced today restores a sharp or flat note to its original pitch. In music, we have a total of five different types of accidental. We have the sharp, flat and natural sign, which we have now learned, and we have two more called the double sharp and the double flat. I'll be looking at these two accidentals in a later episode. I'd now like to show you the notes and finger placements of a C major scale, one octave in the left hand. playing scales, remember to play all the notes legato, smoothly, 
unless otherwise indicated, leaving no gaps between the notes. Also, there's no need to play them fast. It's better to play scales at a medium tempo and play the notes accurately and smoothly than to play them fast and uneven. I'd like to end this week's lesson with a song I've written, which includes sharps, flats and naturals. This song is written with different finger placements, so pay close attention to the finger numbers on top or below the note heads as you play. To access more sheet music and also other Piano Virtus content, why not subscribe to our Patreon? The link is in the description below. So that's all from me for this week. Remember to follow us, like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit the bell icon so you don't miss a video and follow us on social media. Just search for Piano Virtus. So from me, Harriet, it's goodbye for now. <laughs>